BBC Radio Solent with Julian Clegg. BBC Radio Solent. Now let's talk uh, money and let's talk the housing market because at the moment estate agents are having a rough time as are people trying to sell their houses. Now if you're trying to sell your house at the moment, what experience are you having? Is it turning into a nightmare? Have you had it on the market for ages? How much have you had to drop the price by? But, on the other hand, according to our state agent guest in the last hour, does that mean you then go on to buy your next property at a cheaper price? So, therefore, it's all relative, isn't it? We're talking about that on the show this morning. The Institute of Chartered Surveyors saying that, uh, according to their figures, it's the worst monthly rate since record began 30 years ago for house sales. Uh, Financial markets, though, interestingly, after yesterday's bailout and takeover of the banks in the UK, or some of the banks in the UK, have rallied. Shares in Asia have risen 13% during the morning trading, and this follows yesterday's gains in London and New York. However, when it comes to selling your house here in the South, is it harder than ever? And how much do you have to drop by? Jonathan J- Davis is the chartered financial planner at Armstrong Davis and joins me live on the show this morning. Morning, Jonathan. Good morning again, Julian. Yeah, welcome back. Um, so this news uh, about people uh, selling houses, first of all, what's your quick reaction to the property market in the UK? What do you think? It's entirely unsurprising when you have the um, greatest financial crisis in the history of the world, um, it's not surprising that people can't get loans and therefore it's not surprising that's feeding through to the housing market. The housing market is slow, it's almost dead stop, it will stay slow for a long time to come. Now some people are saying actually now's a good time to buy but of course it's like all these things, like the stock market at the moment, have we reached rock bottom or not? And of course if we haven't reached rock bottom on house prices then it wouldn't be a good time to buy, what do you think? We're not even close to the bottom. Um, A market like housing doesn't rise for 14 or 15 years and then falls for one year. No, no, um, the the credit crunch, which means quite simply banks aren't lending as they were previously, means that the housing market will be in a state of standstill effectively for another two or three years. Prices have got a long way to go down still. I I watched a show the other day where they lined up four property experts, uh, uh, four of them in a panel, and asked them how far will property prices fall. And the gloomiest of the four, or the gloomiest of the four, said anything up to 50%, and the other three went, oh, I don't know about that. I gather you're on the gloomy end. Well, it depends um, from which uh, side of the picture you're looking. If you're in the market, then yes, I'm gloomy. If you're um, not in the market, then uh, I've got something really good for you. Um, Yes, um, I've been saying for quite some time that house prices nationally will fall around 35% from top to bottom, top being August last year, bottom probably being around 2011. Um, And indeed, in some parts of the country, they could indeed fall up to 50%. Absolutely. Right. That's a a big amount, isn't it? I mean, um, huge. Yeah, and do do you think this is merely bringing it back to where it needed to be in the first place? Um, Well, I mean, that's uh, a a leading question. Um, I I, I would say that house prices just got way, way beyond economic fundamentals and they've been uneconomic for the past several years. And I know that sounds crazy, but uh, that's absolutely my view. Um, the, if you look at the chart on house prices, it's gone practically, practically vertical and uh, no market, whether it's gold or shares or property, does that and stays there. Um, there's been far too easy lending, far too silly borrowing, actually, and uh, prices are just uneconomic. That's why they, will come, they are coming back. They're falling practically 2% a month. Whereas in the last crash in the early 90s, they fell perhaps 2% in six months. They're falling rapidly. They will continue to fall rapidly for the next couple of years. Jonathan, we shall see. I'll get you back on the show in 2011. Do that. <laughs> but I think we'll be talking before that somehow. For, for the moment, thanks for coming on the show this morning. You're very welcome. Uh, Jonathan Davis, uh, making the point, of course, if you're trying to buy a property maybe for the first time, this could be... Good news. However, if you've recently bought in the last two or three years, it's appalling news. Uh, I wonder what you think about it. 0845 30 30